two way classes. You must smash and fight ready assassin. Gas and I'm passing them, double egg, I've been tapping them. Who was the first to bring the smoke straight to Adesanya? This 5'9 middleweight, call me the brown bomber. Welcome to the Kelvin Gaston YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make an official announcement, but before I do that, I want to thank Jimmy Bars. Go ahead and get your Jimmy on. They are available at any Walmart location. They are main sponsor. They are the reason why this is even possible. So please support the people that support us. Get your Jimmy on. So guys, the official announcement, I know uh, it's been out in the media in, in one interview that I did, but I want you guys to hear it from my own mouth that I am making an official announcement, an official drop down to 170. Um, that is my plan, that, or not as a plan, that's, that's what I'm going to do. My next fight will be at welterweight. The executives have agreed. Dana White is on board. And so was everybody else, Hunter Camel, Mick Maynard, Sean Shelby. Uh, I saw them this past weekend uh, in New Jersey, and everybody agreed. And, uh, you know, uh, Hunter Camel was like, don't do it or I'm going to choke you to death. And I was like, I'm not going to do it, buddy. Uh, I'm going to make it. I'm reburning all my ships and throwing all my eggs in one basket and going all in on my chips uh, once again. Uh, because that's what it feels like. It feels like a second chance in my career, and I'm going all in once again. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make 170 later on this year, um, and I think I, I can make another another title run uh, at that weight class. I think I can make it. Why this time, and why now, and why not before? It's just like I, like I said, this is a second chance. This is a a renaissance. Uh, in my career, this is a rebirth, and uh, I feel I feel great. I feel like I'm in the right headspace for it. Um, before I was young, I was dumb, I was stupid, undisciplined. But now that I'm older, hopefully a little bit more mature and smarter. Hopefully, uh, you know we can we can do this, and I think I will do this, and and can do this. So. Expect my next fight to be at 170. I'm going to get shredded, <laughs> I hope. And I'm going to, uh, you know, lose this little bit, trim this little bit of uh, belly fat, fat that I got around my waist. And, um, you know, hopefully hopefully look good doing it too. And uh, at my next fight will be at welterweight. So uh, I'm excited for this, for this new venture. I'm excited uh, to put on another great performance. I don't know what they will have planned for me, but I know it will be big. I know that it will be against probably a top 10 contender, if not a top five, who knows? Um, but, you know, it's going to be big and I can't wait. Yeah, so what What are the reasons that you're going to 170? Is it, is it kind of that 185 that you you felt that, that size difference? So one of the main reasons why I am going drop uh, going to drop down to 170 is because I'm tired, guys. I am tired of fighting these big guys. I'm physically exhausted of fighting these big dudes. Uh, I want to fight guys that are my height, my my size, my reach, um, and so I think it'll increase my survival survivability. Uh, no, it, it'll increase my chances of winning winning fights and winning a world title. I think this has always, everybody knows, this has always been my 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 weight class to go to, but it really just takes me to, to decide that I want to do it, and now I decide that I want to do it, and I'm going to do it. And wait, how, what's going to be your strategy in terms of make, making the weight? Have you have you thought of that at all? Um, have you thought of the people you're going to reach out to, the the uh, trainers you're going to use, the diet you're going to have? Have you thought of that at all? So when I had initially proposed the idea of going down a well to weight to the executives, to my manager, um, they were on board immediately. You know, Dana White himself actually said he wants to provide his own doctor. I don't know if you guys saw that picture of him in a pool just completely stacked. He was like, I want to get you that doctor that helped me get that way. And, um, you know, Hunter Campbell was on board. I'm going to get nutritionists on board. I'm, I want to get a physiologist on, I think that's the right term, for a physiologist uh, on board as well to, to help me increase in every aspect the... Um, probability of, of doing it and doing it in a safe manner.
Yeah, and right now let's let's go through the the top ten in the welterweight rankings, and uh, if and if anyone there kind of kind of interests you and, and piques your interest. So at number ten we got Luke. <laughs> hold on, hold on there, Michael. He <laughs> wants to get me in trouble over here. <laughs> I, I I'm not trying to pick any fights at the moment. Right now I want to focus on getting my weight down, getting trimmed, getting shredded. And and look and get my summer body on, but I'm not trying to call anyone out right now, Michael. Please get don't don't get me in trouble, brother. Well, I'll I'll list them, but you don't have to say any response. We got Vicente Luque number ten, Sean Brady number nine, Jeff Neal number eight, seven Stephen Thompson, six Rockmanov. Then the top five rounds out with Burns, Chemaev, Bilal Muhammad, Colby Covington. Kamaru Usman and of course the champ Leon Edwards. So do, do you like that that top ten for the welterweight division more more those, than the top ten for middleweight? Those are some fun fights. Those are some fun fights. It's a tough top ten, and uh, but that doesn't change over at middleweight. These guys are big too, uh, but they're tough fights. But welterweight, those are exciting fights. A lot of uh, if not all of those are great matchups for me. Um, you know. Welterweight is full of studs. I'm excited. I'm excited for this new venture. There's a lot of fun matchups. Stay tuned. So then September September is when you're when you're looking, you're gonna take your time. You don't wanna you don't wanna rush into this weight cut and give yourself some time to really get that weight down. Right. So I I'm not gonna rush into anything. Don't get me into trouble yet, Michael. Uh, I, I, I want to take my time with it. Like I said, get all these people involved, get my team involved, and make sure we're doing it the right and safe. Uh, way you know I'm not just gonna drop into a, a a training camp and have the whole training camp just be about dropping the weight no I'm not doing that no more like I said I want to do this in a more uh smart uh, way you know I feel like I've got all this experience I've got all this knowledge now let's put some critical thinking behind it not just go out on a whim and I feel like I've got the right people around me for that. And uh, I've got some smart people around me. And, and we're going to make it happen. You guys, thank you for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel a ton. Also, thank you to Jimmy Bars. Get your Jimmy on. Available in any Walmart location across the U.S. Go ahead and get your Jimmy on. Also, visit KelvinGaslam.com if you want some KG shirt, some KG merch. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And we will see you on the next one. Hey.